This is the zoom through effect that is done in After Effects using masks. It's a very easy effect that achieves great results and looks very very good. So without further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects. Here in After Effects I have a video clip which is just a basic car wheel rolling. This is the clip that you saw at the start of the video and I'm just going to open up the Porsche logo and make a zoom through effect to reveal the second clip. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure to know when we want our transition to start. I want my transition to start around the 10 keyframe, around 10 frames and I'm going to click Control Shift D to cut that. And then I'm going to rename this layer into logo mask. And then we're going to go up to the ellipse tool and I'm going to zoom in a bit. And while I'm holding shift, I'm going to create a circle to make sure it's a symmetrical circle. And then try to place it to the best of my ability around the Porsche logo. Let's invert it to see how it looks. Yep, uh, it's not the best, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to go with it anyway. And especially since this is a very small mask, it's not going to matter. And then we're going to duplicate this layer and we're going to name the top layer video or car, whatever have you. And make sure that the layer underneath is set to add and the layer above is set to subtract. So this way you have both masks, but you have the logo mask that you're going to animate to move it out of the way. So before we start animating, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our anchor point for the logo mask is in the center. So I'm going to go up and click control and double click on the pen behind tool and right click on the mask, click track mask here in the tracker, make sure position, scale and rotation is selected and then click on track selected masks forward and then let it do its thing. All right. So now it has tracked the mask, which is pretty good tracking. After Effects tracking has gotten really good in the last few years and we're just going to duplicate this layer and rename it to car video or whatever just to make sure that we can distinguish the logo from the from the regular clip and make sure the clip downwards is set to add and the clip that is up top is set to subtract this way you have both clips with the mask applied and you can animate the logo without affecting the rest of the clip now i'm going to click p for position shift r for rotation make a keyframe move around five frames in and then just going to rotate the clip and make it disappear like so behind the wheel. Select all the keyframes, easy ease, and let's see what we have so far. All right, so, so far so good, looks pretty cool. Now, before we forget, after the logo is out of the way, make sure to trim the video and delete the rest of it so that it doesn't stay behind the wheel and show up later on. Now the masking part is done, we need to zoom. We need to start doing the zoom effect. In order to do that, we wanna make the car video 3D and then go to layer, new camera. Click OK and go down to camera, transform. I wanna start my zoom right around here before the logo disappears. So I'm gonna click point of interest and position, make a keyframe, click on U to bring those keyframes alone and move around eight or so frames and then just start moving, zooming in as soon as I get almost there, as you can see, this is not symmetrically centered. Hence why we had the point of interest keyframe. And now we're just gonna center this and zoom through the car wheel. Of course, easy is the keyframes as always and play it back to see if it matches speed or if it needs some altering. Uh, this looks pretty fine to me. Yeah, I'm happy with the result. All right, so this is the effect so far with the second video applied. Looks pretty cool, pretty sick. And now one more thing we can do is I'm going to create a new layer and call it Saber. Saber is a free plugin for After Effects that you can get online. I'll leave a link in the description box. And we're going to add the effect called Saber and you're going to get this line. I'm going to go to the preset, click on energy and then go to render settings, composite settings and make sure it's set to transparent so that we can see what we're working with. And what I want to do is want to make a circle of saber around the wheel and match it to the color of the caliber. So I'm going to try to make a dark red, something like so. And then I'm going to grab the ellipse tool one more time, hold shift and make a mask and then place it around the outer rim. And now in order to attach our saber to our mask, we're going to go to customize core, core type and layer masks. Now you have saber as your mask layer. And I'm just going to decrease the glow intensity a little bit. Seems a bit too much, maybe around 45 or so. And I'm going to move a few frames and go to start offset, select the stopwatch icon, click U to bring up the keyframe, move it a few frames, and then make the start offset 100%. This will make it animate in just like so as a circle. 
And if you noticed, we don't have Saber attached to the 3D camera. So let's do that. Click on 3D layer and then click P to bring up the position and just set it to minus two. And now we have Saber attached to our 3D camera and it zooms all the way in into our second clip. So this is pretty much the transition. This is how it's done. Now, one last thing you can add is motion blur just to sell the effect a bit more. In order to do that, click on every layer except for the reveal layer, which is the second clip, pre-compose them, move all attributes into new composition. And I'm gonna add CC force motion blur. And it might be a bit too strong depending on your video clip and how much movement it has. I'm going to bring it down to 80. The effect is finally complete and this is how the final effect looks like. So that was pretty much it, the zoom through effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content. Let me know what other effects you would like me to cover in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.